You are looking live at Sportorama in Muncie, New York, where the New Jersey Rockets girls 16U are getting ready to take on the Ramapo Saints. Hi, everybody. It's Joe Rizzo here bringing you the action from this wonderful perch next to Miss Jamie, who you get to see momentarily. And we are just about ready to go. Grace Ulrich to the net on your right. And liftoff has happened. Riley Rose on the faceoff. Barbara on the left wing, Bella on the right. Rockets move it into the offensive zone. Barbara over the end line. And it comes up to the point where it banks just past Haley. Bug back to get it. And they'll play with it at neutral ice. Rockets in their road black jerseys, all black, in fact, with white numerals and gray trim. Saints in their home whites with navy blue and royal blue. Rockets send it down. Puck dies on its edge there. And the Saints will move it up. Hey, Kaylee Conley, not to be confused with Haley Connolly on the opposite team, brought it in for the moment. Saints move it out, but Cece's there to keep it in. Hope will chase it behind the net. She's got Brianna in front if she gains possession of that puck. Hope gets it off the half boards, spins back, heads to the net, looks low for Brianna, sends it toward the net, pushed away. Saints move it up through the neutral zone, and with speed, they gain it on the left side. Lauren's back, and she knocks it away. Cookie over there, she'll pick it up, but can't get a handle on it cleanly, and she skates it back behind her net. Cookie looking up the right side. She's got Brianna over there. It loses possession, and it's sent back in by the Saints. They'll try to play with it in the corner, but Lauren's going to pick that up. Thank it off the sideboards. Brianna's got a chance for a breakaway. If she can get through one, she's got it in. She's moving in. Paulino in front, shot, save, rebound, and they can't put it in. So with 14.56 left in the first period from Muncie, New York, Paulino with a quality scoring chance to start it off. Come on, Frank! Minichello with one early. Rose on the faceoff, Shoshana on the left, Jules on the right, Bug at the left point. Haley cheats in all the way from the right point to the top of the right circle. Rose wins the faceoff to Bug. Bug tries to shoot, but it gets blocked. Shoshana wheels off of her defender, faces toward the net, tries to move it in, but can't. Bug pinches in from the left point and sends it all the way back behind the net. Saints will chip it up. This is going to be an icing unless somehow that puck just stops. And they wave it off. I have no idea why they would wave off that icing. That was a pretty clear just send right there. Shoshana tries to get it out, but it goes through traffic in the middle. And McCarthy's there, but couldn't handle it. Jules will get it. Gets through one on the right side to get it out of the zone. And the Saints pick it off and send it in. Haley negotiates behind her goaltender, Grace Ulrich. And can't move it out. Bug has to swat that out of traffic out of dangerous traffic. Wrist shot, Grace with the save and leaves no rebound. Got it with the glove. So Erwick 84 gets her first action of the game. Just under three minutes in. 14.03 left first period from Sportorama. Conley on the faceoff with Landstrom. Landstrom wins it over to Fox and sends it back to Landstrom who sends it behind for Cookie. Isabel Cook negotiates through a couple of defenders and tries to bank it up the board to Riley. Finds a defender's feet and it goes out of the zone. Cookie gets through center ice and sends it in. Riley's going to pick this one off, tries to stay on side, but just couldn't do it. She had to lean forward to get a piece of the puck and it went in offside. So they'll face it off just outside of the offensive zone. Riley there and a very strange puck drop by the referee she dropped it into her own skate 
nonetheless. It goes into the offensive zone for the Rockets, and Cookie carried that at the blue line. Didn't carry it in, but whistled down for an offside nonetheless. Puck drop again, and Lauren's going to skate this one in. Wrist shot hit one of the Saints' defenders. Kept in on the right side by Bella, and now pushed out. Cookie's there, so it doesn't go all the way down. Cookie's trying to get through a couple, drops it back for Lauren, maybe not intentionally. The Rockets have the eye black under their eyes. They've come out for business tonight. Cookie will skate it in, wrist shot, gobbled up, no rebound, and a whistle and a stoppage of play. 14.03 left, first period, no score from Sport Orama. CC wins the faceoff, back to Haley, over to Bug between the points, but the bouncing puck popped over her stick. Bug will have to retreat back as McNulty skates it in. They battle for it on the near side corner, CC steps in there. CC and Bug together, waiting for that puck to pop out, and eventually it gets to Hope Stick, and Menichello will skate through two zones and three zones, and Hope centers for CC, but it's stepped in and broken up. Now Haley steps in through the points and she'll skate it down low. Rockets with four down low and only bug back at safety. Haley decides to send it back in and get back up defensively. CeCe's going to get to this one but can't keep it in. And it comes to the far side boards where Haley gets it, sends it in. Good hustle by Brianna to get in on side. Centered in front, rebound goes to CeCe, fired wide. It might have hit a skate of one of the Saints. Haley sends it to the middle for CC in the slot. Brianna picks that one up through the right circle, sends it at the net. There's a save that goes behind the net. Bug jumps in at the left point to keep it in. CC trying to help her, but the Saints player McNulty seems to get to it just a little bit first and sends it out of danger. Haley's going to get this, and she's got a lot of room. Haley right down Broadway. Connolly through one, gets into the middle and now loses it and goes to the left side looking for somebody coming late, but the Rockets were changing behind the play. So there was a scoring chance maybe to be had, but more importantly, she allows her team to change and never give up the puck in terms of possession. Cookie draws two defenders. They try to draw her out, and it's picked off on the breakout. A roll in front. McNulty tips it in, and the Saints jump out to a 1-0 lead with 11.09 left in the first period. Good job, girls! There is Capone, Marina Capone. So Grace didn't have much of a chance on that one as the shot came from the point and was redirected in front. 1-0 Saints. Rose on the faceoff sends it. She got the stick on it, but the Saints are going to be the ones getting possession, at least for a moment. And it happens just below us to go into the Saints zone. They send it cross ice toward their own bench, and the Saints move it out. They send it into the Rocket zone, and Cookie sends it over for Lauren. Lauren playing D with Cookie. The lefty is Lauren, the righty is Cookie. Cookie's going to pick this one off as the Saints try to get behind the D. And Cookie's had a little room today already in the early going, so we'll see if she's got a coast-to-coast -coast in her. Haley nearly had a coast-to-coast -coast in her, so the D are able to move the pucks here. Cookie takes her time, gets the space. Rose jumps out for a change. Hope will jump on for she. Shoshana playing forward rather than D today. She's been mostly seen at D, but she's been an effective forward in her time out there. That's double zero hand worker. Skated in by the Saints, one on four, and now coming late is Skull. But Bug is able to pick that one up, bank it off. It's going down, and it's going to be an icing. So 9.57 left first period, one nothing Saints over the Rockets, who have a face-off to the left of their goalie, Grace Ulrich. Molly Rose Smith dressed on the bench. 
has another goalie. Hope will win the faceoff to herself and skate it up the left wing. Minichello tries to get by one. Can she do it? She's powering forward like a bull in a china shop and she still maintains possession. Somebody's in front, who is it? But Hope can't maintain that possession, although Bug jumps in from the point to keep it in. Bug will send it down, but Bug will get it back in and send it this time effectively more deep. Elise has to go behind the net to get it. Haley is gonna pinch in from the point to keep it in. Elise grabs that, tries to center it. There's a battle going on with Sydney in front and somebody else as Hope tries to get them possession as well. Sent through neutral ice, Haley's gonna pick that up and she's gonna try to skate it in as Hope backs her up at the left point. Haley trying to head to the net. She's gonna get close and she's gonna get one here, you could just tell. Hope gets it, top of the left circle, gets by one, leaves it for Sydney who exchanges back for Hope. Hope goes along the end line, Hope faking to go around, finds Haley in the left circle, in the right circle rather and the pass was broken up. The Saints saw it just at the last moment, but those two nearly worked the magic. Bug fighting to get this one out of the zone just below us, and Hope, as she often does, gets that puck onto her stick, and 48 was able to hold it for a moment. Barbara, back on safety here, is able to pick it up, and she waits for a change and sends it up for Bella. It's a little too strong, but it's not gonna be strong enough for icing as Bella's gonna chase this down. Bella centers, Barbara on the rebound. Barbara tries to shovel it at the net, but the righty had just too sharp of an angle. It's loose behind the net, Barbara and Bella. Barbara sends it in front, Bella didn't see it. Lauren with the backhander at the net. Glove save, loose rebound comes to the near side. Riley walking out of the corner, but sends it at the net. Swatted away, eight minutes left first period. Cookie pinches all the way down. Barbara's at the point and will step in. She knocks it back down to Cookie. Cookie turns, fires it, it hits off Bella's right skate. But Riley gets it, shovels to Bella. Bella shovels it wide. A lot of shoveling out there. Maybe we need some shoveling and shots. Riley in front, it's loose underneath the goaltender along the goal line and nobody could put it in. It was loose due south of the five hole. The goaltender Capono, did I say that right? Capone. Capone didn't realize it was there and nobody was able to poke it in. So a golden opportunity lost for the Rockets who win the faceoff. Cookie between the points, wrist shot hits seven who skates it into the corner. CC comes out of the corner and sends it below the end line for Hope. Hope to the near side corner is gonna to try to turn at the circle. Hope will turn to the circle, get a lot of traffic in the slot, tries to dish for CC on the left side, but it didn't get through, and the Saints will break it out. Saints have a one nothing lead, although they haven't had the better of the possession. Rebound goes to the other side. Grace makes the second save. A loose rebound was there. Abigail steered it back toward the net, but Grace was able to make the second in the sequence of saves. Brianna, Hope, and Cece, they get the puck in. Brianna to Hope, Hope in the left circle, wrist shot goes just wide, and she had the left side of the net there. It's sent down, there's not gonna be an icing here, and McNulty is gonna be the first one to get there. She'll turn and send it to herself, but Cece comes back and blows that play up. Nieves on the corner boards and she gets it up to Hope. Hope has two in front of her. Let's see if she sends it in deep and gets the change. She's going to skate it right in as they just give her room. Wrist shot whistled wide and high. It comes toward the half boards where Cece is there trying to attack. Stepping in from the point is Bug. Can't keep it in and swat it out. But three rockets there and Bug is able to send it in and trying to turn the corner. Bug looking for it. The last time she was in this rink, she scored three in a, I believe it was a 4-3 overtime win or a 4-4 tie. I can't remember exactly what it was. Or a 4-3 win maybe for the Saints. Forgive my memory, it's been a long day. Sent at the net, but not with alacrity and there's bumping in front as Haley was making sure that nobody was going to get a rebound if there was one there to be had. Whistle and a stoppage of play, 5.41 left. First period, the Rockets end. The Ramapo Saints, as Quinn Moreno streaks across the ice. 
Rose on the faceoff, wins it toward Bug's side, but the Saints pick it up and send it to Haley. Haley's got room. Connolly through one zone, through the neutral zone. Has to slam on the brakes and they bring it in offside. Jules was just trying to get a handle on it and the puck just kept moving forward on her and she couldn't slam on the brakes enough there. So they'll face it off just outside the offensive zone. Rose at center with Shoshana on the left wing. Jules on the right. Wins it back to Bug, who will dump it in. Sent around the near side boards and behind the end line. They turn and look through the Saints, and there's a little room there. And they're going to try to skate this. There's a lot of room right up the middle, but they, instead of trying to get down the middle, Haley drives her wide, still going right at the net. Grace with the first save, second save covered. They're looking for the poke. Nine got a little room, and she used it. They opened up a seam in the middle. And the Rockets have held the possession, and they've been the better possession team thus far, but they haven't been able to cash in on their chances as of yet. And the Saints, with one chance, were able to get the lead. Lauren in front tries to clear it out of the slot. Riley comes down to give help. Wrist shot blocked by Lauren up top. Rebound in front. Connolly, Connolly tries to put that in and skates back toward the opposite post, but her team doesn't gain possession and the captain just streaks out of the zone for the Saints and she skates back in now. She's piled up the goals as Kaylee Conley, 71 in white this season. Cookie now for the Rockets, gains the offensive zone and has Bella with her, Riley in front. Riley looking to establish some position there and that puck sent through and grabbed before it could get through the rest of the slot. <laughs> Face off in the offensive zone for the Rockets. Hope doesn't win it, but Elise was ready to grab possession there. Hope with the shot. There's one save. The rebound came late, but it's covered before the poke. So Elise on the right wing, Sydney on the left, and Hope jumping in at center here. They're doing some funky stuff with the lines. Our coaches, Paul and Vinny trying to generate offense, and we've seen Hope at the wing and at center. Wrist shot through traffic, bounces just wide. That was Cookie. Cookie's been all over here, as has Hope. Lauren now pinches all the way in. Rockets playing four up. Oh, that one went through the crease, and they it would not have been a goal. There was some whistle for some reason. I don't know if it's a penalty, or maybe there was incidental goalie interference which could have been the call right there. There might have been incidental goalie interference, which would deaden the play and move the faceoff out of the zone. It was called immediately. So sometimes you can interfere with the goalie. It doesn't mean that it's on purpose or a penalty. It just means that the play is essentially whistled dead if there's an offensive chance. Wrist shot from the point by Cookie is more of a cross dump, and Sydney will get there. Sydney tries to turn, leaves it for Lauren, sends it in the slot, wrist shot, glove down. Covered with the glove, we should say. By Capone? Capone? Capone, I'm sorry. Capone. 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 Assuming I'm saying it right. Assuming Miss Jamie's saying it right. We like to get the names where we can. Riley on the face off, doesn't win it, but Haley gets it at the point, steers it in, and Bella gets it shoots it toward the net, but it goes just behind. Comes back to the near side. Riley got a piece of it. She's one on two, and she can't get it. It comes to the point, but it just eludes Bug's stick. Haley gets it, turns patiently. If they bring it in, it's offside, but they get onside. It comes in and then quickly out. Bella grabs this one, shovels it ahead. Bella's still trying to shovel it forward, can't get through. Gets a little help from Barbara. Now Haley's gonna streak right in. Haley Connolly gets in the offensive zone. Can't maintain possession one on three, but Riley steps over the line. Haley sends it low. That was a pass for Bella, but it didn't get all the way through. Saints try to bring it up, and two Rockets meet them there and make the play offside. Whistle and a stoppage of play. 2 4 6 left. First period, 1 0 Saints. Rockets, once again, if you're just joining in, they've had the better of the possession. 
and they've had the better of the chances, although the chances have not been the most high quality, but the Saints cashed in on their best chance. Just a little lapse by the Rocket D, allowing one of the players to get behind. Here comes Hope. Hope in over the left circle. Hope at the left dot, centers for Brianna. Backhander, centered in front. Loose on the line, still loose, and covered up. A lot of pushing and shoving there as the whistle was getting ready to be blown. But the team's looking at the dot rather than the penalty box there. Sticks got up a little bit. And you could maybe hear that coming from the crowd. But they'll face it off. CC on the dot with Hope in the slot. Brianna on the right wing. CC wins it over to Brianna who goes to the point to Cookie who has to step in. There's a pop-up and it's kicked out by McNulty. Saints bring it through, neutral ice, and they eventually dump it, but Cookie's there to gather it, and she turns. Cookie sends it through neutral ice. That is waved off at icing because there was a Saints player in the vicinity, although it did elude her by a couple of feet. Rocket's now going to try to steal it here and get possession, and CeCe does just that, sends it to Hope. Hope tries to negotiate off the half boards. CeCe sends it, whistles it wide through the top of the crease was looking for it to hit a body. Cookie keeps it in, and Brianna tips it down for Hope to get it in the corner. Hope spins back and will go right at the net. Hope comes out, poke checked away by the goalie. Goes back into the near side corner. McNulty one on one, she's got to beat Lauren Fox. Lauren is back, gets the stick out there, gets a piece, now gets a little bit with the body, and now gets the puck. Fox will chip it through. Fox still with it, Fox powering up. Hope will get it. Hope undresses one defender. Hope undresses her again. Hope shoots, there's the save, and it pops over the net. Manichello is on the doorstep here. It's just a matter of time before she gets one, it looks like. Cece will get it as Hope comes off. Cece whistles one off one of the St. Sticks that finds its way wide, and the Rockets change. Bug grabs it, waits for Shoshana to get onside and sends it in. Last minute of play, down to 50 seconds in the first period. one nothing Saints. Haley gets it, jumps in, sends it toward the net. Shoshana's there, can't get possession. This is going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Haley just casually breaks it up like she's walking on the boardwalk on a Tuesday afternoon in July. Connolly now up the left wing. Connolly into the offensive zone. 11 turns, looks to feed somebody coming down, sends it at the net. 26 seconds left, Saints send it out. Holt is going to grab that. 15 has about 15 seconds to get it down the other end of the ice, and she can't get a handle on it, so she sends it to Haley, who just reverses it back the other way. Now the Rockets just need to get it out quick, and time's running out. Jules has it. She doesn't realize it. Probably the time she's got to shoot it, and there's an all way offside, but that will expire the first period. We don't have the benefit of the shots on the board. I would venture to say that they favor the Rockets, but I'm not sure about that. I think that they do, and the scoreboard, which is the thing that matters a little bit more, is one nothing in favor of the Saints.
Okay, Rockets and Saints break their huddles. Ready for period two. Riley in the center circle with Barbara on her left and Bella on her right. Lift off in the second from Sportorama in Muncie, New York. One nothing, the Saints lead it over the Rockets who've had most of the better of the play. Cookie spins around in her own zone, banks it hard off for Barbara who tips it for Riley and Riley's gonna try to gain the zone. She passes it to herself. Riley gets into the slot, takes a shot. It hits off of a stick of the Saints, but still gets on net. Barbara's gonna pick that one off, gets a little help from Lauren who shovels it forward. It's sitting on the dasher and knocked off by a hand. And nobody was chasing after it right there for the Rockets, they had a golden opportunity. Sort of froze, oh, Lauren jumps in for the puck and there's a collision, both players seem to be okay. Lauren lowered the stick to get at the puck and collided with the Saints player. It's loose in front. Bella scores! Bella, 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 La Bella, 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 Coochie, Coochie, Coo! She puts it in to tie the game at one. Captain Coochie has evened it up with 16.05 left in the second period for the Rockets. How sweet it is. Bella playing forward today. She's versatile. We see her often on defense. Today we're seeing her at forward. She could play anywhere at any time. I think the captain of this team would even play goalie if she had to. This one's sent down. It's not going to be an icing. Cece's going to be the first one there. And she will chip it to herself. And Elise exchanges with Cece. Cece skates into the zone. Cece on the right side. Wrist shot. One save. Sydney rebound. Shoveled at the net. Oh, and Cece got a, got a stick in there too. So Cece and Sydney nearly worked the magic as the Rockets have awoken. Sparks almost lit the lamp. Cece wins it to Haley who gets through one. Puck still loose. Saints send it to the near side and we'll get it out. Bug there to disrupt that dump. Haley will be the first to get it. Banks it hard off the boards and it's enough to get it out. Saints will play with it on their own line. Sydney's gonna get over there and chip it to Elise. Elise is gonna gain the zone. Elise spins and tries to get it to Cece, but it was disrupted. Bug jumps in to keep it at the point. Shot is redirected by a Saint stick and goes behind the net. Bump there by Cece, up to the point and out. No icing, and Bug is in a foot race. She's gonna be one on two, but Haley will help her out shortly, and the Rockets manage to change there. And it goes all the way to the neutral zone to Rose who gets it and it's sent in offside. So the whistle and the stoppage of play with 14.40 left in the second period from Sportorama in Muncie, New York. 1-1. Saints scored in the first, Rockets scored in the second. Captain Cucci, your goal scorer for New Jersey. Battled for after the puck drop and the Rockets eventually win it. Rose has it. She's looking to gain the center line. She does. She's offside, and that's going to be just out of the picture. Jules came in, but that puck was lost by Rose just underneath us, and then she fell and was in the offensive zone before the puck was, so that one's an offside. We're not going to try to adjust the shot too much. It's just a hazard of the game here. Rose wins the faceoff to Jules, and Jules sends it in over the line, but... Matone quickly sends it out and down. Cookie gets it, turns and burns, and she comes up the right wing. So we call her Cookie because she often does go by Izzy. It's Isabel Cook, and there's Isabel, Isabella Cucci, and there's Isabella Camarada on the 19U team, and Cookie just seems to work. So that's why 23 is Cookie to us. Oh, and there's even another, uh, uh, a fire on ice. The girl's on fire. Girl. There's a lot of, a lot of Izzy's. 
Played within the neutral zone, 13.36 left. Second period, 1-1. Lauren Fox gets it, banks it off the boards and chases it herself. Kicks it in and she's onside. She's got Jules in the slot. She will come out. Oh, she will come to the near side. She didn't come out with it. Cookie sends it at the net. It's kicked away by a shin guard. Shoshana sends it to CC. Wrist shot, whistled wide. Jules in front, puck near loose. Covered up. Kirschen bomb almost with the bomb right there. But she got 86th just before she could put it in the net. 13.05 now, second period. Second action of the day here on the YouTube channel. If you like the action, hit subscribe and then the alerts button. You'll get all the 16U, 19U games. One back to Bug by CeCe. Bug's shot was blocked away. Brianna and Bug are now over there. Bug centers it for CeCe. CeCe in the slot to Hope. Shot, one-timer, score! Hope Menachello from CC Nieves from Bug Holt. They worked that one from the right point down to the slot. And CC had her own shot and just dished it to Hope, who found the back of the net. It's two to one Rockets with 12.54 left in the second period. So the Rockets started out with the one nil deficit and they've battled back with two here in the first 5.06 of the second period, 4.06 of the second period to now gain the lead. CC and Hope move the puck in together as a tandem, but the Saints eventually bring it out. CC and Bug over there battling for it. CC tries to win that one. Hope will get in. She's got Brianna in the center. Wrist shot, save, rebound, Brianna. It was just a little too high. She knocked it down with her face mask almost. Hope to Haley, right circle. She sends it wide. I think she was looking for CC at the back door. Bug keeps it in at the point, and CC comes in to help her out. It's loose inside skates. CC can't keep it in. CC clears the zone. Bug sends it in. CC up the boards at the half boards. Wristed, but CC knocks that one down and keeps it. Centers for Hope, Hope in front. CC, Hope, off the left post. Rockets blitzing, Brianna comes out from behind. She shoots, it goes just wide. Paulino had the right side of the net. CC's gonna pick this one off. She can't hold on to it for the moment. She still is battling for it. 13. With the determination of a hungry tiger chasing that puck out through the neutral zone. It's in the offensive zone for the Saints now who are dying to get a breather. And they get a little bit of the pressure taken off by getting it there, but the Rockets have been absolutely blitzing here. Hope's gonna pick this one up off the half boards. She looks for Brianna up the middle. Brianna can't get there. She's gotta get back on side if Hope grabs this, and Hope does. Hope will come in one on four. She's got Brianna in the slot. Hope down the slot, gets it picked off. Riley comes late. There's the one-timer and it's deflected wide. Hope jumps off for a change. Barbara jumps on. Bree is gonna jump off for a change. Barbara gets the puck at the right point, sends it toward the slot. Riley bats it forward, but not hard. Barbara with a shot that goes just wide. Rockets buzzing. Riley in the slot, shot, one save, and the rebound goes into the slot. Bella shoots it just wide with the backhand. Bella behind the end line, looking for Riley in front. Still looking, goes to the near corner, up to the point. Cookie keeps it in, sends it toward the slot, but the Saints will finally clear the zone. 10.28 now, second period. A totally different period for the Rockets here in the second. They ended the first period with a 1-0 with a deficit. They're up 2-0 in the period, and now they have a 2-1 lead in the game. Backhander in front by the Saints, and Grace makes the save. Two Saints collided. One tripped over another stick. They were teammates collided. What a save by Grace with the right pad, and she stops the rebound shot. Ulrich hasn't had a lot of action this period, but she was up to the task with a couple of stellar saves, extending the right leg fully to just get the tip of her pad on it, and then couldn't control the rebound from the prone position, 
but stop the second shot. Jules picked off a face-off that was won by the Saints. And that's, that's called learning. That, that play has happened to the Rockets at the 16 and 19 level consistently. And Jules just stepped into the spot where she saw her opponent wanted to win the face-off. Haley's going to get through one. Let's see if she could get through three. She gets it toward the offensive zone, and Rose is the one that's going to bank it in. Rose and Shoshana chasing it like bulls. This one gets past Buggett, hopped over a stick. Conley in on the breakaway. Backhand there, can't find the 5 0 rebound! Grace saves it with the left pad and covers up! Check Ulrich's pulse. It's lower than the 84 on her jersey number because she's ice cold and serving it to the Saints right now with four brilliant stops in the last minute. Stopping the potent Conley on the breakaway and covering the second shot. Here's Conley around the right circle. She's gonna skate it through with alacrity. Coming right down the window. Backhand, that was ticket and a grace robbed her with the glove. Ulrich keeping the score tied practically by herself as the Rockets change all five. Hope will come out and she'll take this shift at center. She's got Sydney and Elise on the wings and Lauren and Cookie on D. Hope will just take that face off and win it forward. And Cookie will walk in right behind her and take possession. Cookie's got a little window on the left side and she'll skate it into the offensive zone and then dump it. Hope plays her right point and Lauren pinches in from the left looking to generate some offense here as the Rockets have been able to keep a lot of these pucks in the offensive zone in the second period. Matone will skate it in, gets into the slot but she's met by two Rockets and Grace just covers up a loose puck sliding out there to leave no chance of danger. 8.33 left, second period, 2-1 Rockets. At Sportorama, they've erased a 1-0 deficit here in the second period. And the Saints have changed goalies. So now Miss Jamie's going to have to get me the name of this goalie, as she so often does. Face-off, Cookie stepped into that one and sends it down. They'll just redo this as the icing is there. Good hustle by Bella and Riley both chasing it down in case that puck hit a bit of snow or the goalie maybe had Ill inadvertently decided to play it. Let's we'll see if we can give you a look at the fans in attendance today. There they are. Including Luisa Rizzo wearing Haley's gray jersey. Rockets win the faceoff and skate it out. Barbara has some room, but she's greeted by four saints, which is great if you're trying to get into heaven, but not so great if you're a Rocket trying to play a hockey game in Sportorama. Saints move it into the offensive zone, but there are plenty of Rockets back, and Holt is the one to get to it, but she chips it up and the Saints regather possession. Grace with the save on a longer range shot and she's able to cover up the rebound and not yield control. Rockets with the wholesale changes now. 7.43 left second period. They've battled back to make it a two to one advantage after yielding one in the first. Grace has since, after the two goals, become the saving grace for the Rockets as Hope Menichello comes in. Hope right down the slot. Hope in close and she gets it picked off right before she was about to shoot it. Brianna will fight for that one in the corner. Paulino gets a little help from Nieves now two on three. Hope waiting for that puck to pop out as is Lauren. So the Rockets trying to keep themselves in good stead and Brianna gets it. Leaves it for Cece along the board. Cece now will have to go back there and fight, and she gets it to Lauren. Lauren, top of the circle, wrist shot, hits 74. Skull and goes to the near side. Hope goes to the point. 
Cookie's there, wrist shot, knocked away. Hope can't pick it off, and that action happening just below us. I try to change the angle a little bit for those, but we don't want to lose what we see on the other end. Sent back into the near side zone. Skull will get it and send it out. It's not going to be an icing because Izzy Cook is able to grab it and send it to Lauren Fox, her defense partner. Loose puck is picked up by Cece. She's going to skate it into the offensive zone. Wrist shot sent wide, but Brianna's over there and hopes in the middle. Brianna banks it off the boards to herself and she'll skate it around. She and Cece are looking to split up and find hope in the middle. Brianna through the circle, sharp angle shot, one save, rebound, cleared away by the Saints, sent through the two defenders. Not going to be an icing because those two had a moment of indecision. Grace knows how to play a puck and she sends it forward. Hope tips it off for Rose. Rose Fender through the slot. Rose, wrist shot goes just wide. She might have had her beat there. Now sent behind the end line. Bug fires in to get it. Bug sends it in the slot for Jules. Can't get the backhand on it. Rose hustling on all points of the ice. 55 Fender. Izzy Cook with room now that she's created for herself. Gets over the red line, tries to dump, but it hits off of the St. Stick. Jumps up out of play, and Coach Vinny bending over the boards that separate the bench and the penalty box with the dexterity of a lizard, despite his very, very, very advanced age. Coach Vinny is able to do that and retrieve the puck. Face off at center like we just started a period or a game or after a goal. Won by the Saints and brought in by Matone. Whiffed on the shot. It was knocked away on the rebound by Grace. Comes up to the point. Jules chips it past Matone and she will hustle past it. Jules will get it. Sends it forward for Shoshana. Jules picks it up again. Tries to send it at the net but is disrupted there. Hits off the referee's skate. Shoshana's there. Now it goes up to Bug. Bug plays it with the stick and then the skates. It goes just past her now at the point and Bug sends it back for Haley. Haley's looking. Rose way offside. Haley doing pirouettes at center ice and Rose jumps back on side and they somehow get that in on side. Good job somehow there by the Rockets with all the confusion. They still get it on side. That's when things are going your way. When you just miscommunicating a little bit here and there, but it still works out. Sent at the net, but why? It goes behind the end line. Matone has it, sends it up. Rose is going to pick this one off and send it back deep. Shoshana is going to be the first one to get it. Rose is going toward the slot. Shoshana looking for Bug cross slot. Bug sends it back in. Haley retreated thinking that there was going to be an odd man break and there it is. It's a three on one, Bug hustling back. Wrist shot from a very wide angle and Grace makes a save. And that was a fortunate turn of events for the Rockets because the Saints had a three on one and a little puck distribution probably would have led to a high, high, high quality scoring chance. Instead, Grace sees a sharp angle, very wide shot, and she's able to corral that with relative ease. So the Rockets avert some disaster and some trouble there. But that's what happens when you have your legs on. Saints now, as they drop the puck, they have six players out there, and I think the referees are going to be judici judicious here and allow them to get the other player off the ice. And this is not the NHL, and I think no one from either team minds that the Saints were not penalized for that infraction of miscommunication. That's we're at a level where very often there's players on the ice that don't have a ton of experience, and this game is about fun and learning and development and less about scores. Although, you bet your bottom dollar that the players in blue and white and the players in mostly black really want that W at the end of the day. Face off one by Barbara to the near side corner. Now moved around by Cookie and Lauren. Riley tries to get it out of the zone on the far side, can't do it. Grace 
taps that one so it doesn't find its way to the front of the net and Lauren picks it up for Bella who uses the body as a shield but wasn't pressured and that puck is negotiated out of the zone. Kaylee Conley will take this one. She tries to get through Riley. That's not a trip. She skated right into her feet, the former Bandits teammates right there. who know each other well and for a long time. So Rose wins that one. I usually say Riley because there's also Rose Fender, so not to be confused. Number 10. Bella tries to wrap that one around. Finds Riley at the circle. Riley at the net, kicked aside. Riley's going to retrieve it again and send it behind the net for Bella. Bella chips it in front. CC shoot! Oh, what a save! What a save right there. CC had one ticketed. I had the goal call queued up. I had the goal music playing in my mind. I was going to celebrate and hang from the rafters, but no. Denied. CC will tow the circle to the near side. She's got Hope in the middle and Brianna on the right. It's one toward Brianna's side. Haley has to come in, sends it to the slot. Hope's there, lifts the stick, can't get the puck. Knocked the stick completely out of Schroeder's hands. She'll be playing a different tune. Peanuts, wrist shot by Bug, kicked aside to the corner. Hope's there, uses the stick to knock one away. Haley tries to keep that one in, can't do it, and she retreats. Gets a little help from Bug. Those two running nice interference with one another without getting called for interference because they use spacing well. Haley rips one from the right circle. She'll keep pursuing as Hope covers the point on the right side. CC from behind the net. CC to Hope. Wrist shot save. Goes to the far side. Bug can't keep it in. That hit a bit of snow. Otherwise, that might have been enough to get all the way down for an icing. Hope's going to use the body to shield. Gets through another. Gets through another. Gets into the left circle. Wrist shot goes just wide. Near side. Haley comes in. Haley sends it down, but it's picked off by Seven, who's going to skate it up and send it forward on side. And Nieves is going to be able to grab that first for the Rockets in turn. She's got a little bit of room. She sends it to Hope up the middle. Through neutral ice. Minichello gets through one. She's been able to get through a lot. Cece to Hope, down low, backhander, shot, save, and she covers the rebound. Schweitzer now between the pipes. And Schweitzer has kept this a 2-1 game because the Rockets have been blitzing here. One, two, three left in the second period. 2-1 Rockets. It seems like it should be even more than that. Barber wins the faceoff to Shoshana, who was looking to send it at the net, but it's knocked away. Rockets keep it in momentarily, sent down now for an icing, and we'll do that one again to Schweitzer's right. 72 seconds now in the second period, and it's been a good one for the Rockets on the scoreboard and in the nets. It's, they've had the much better end of the play here of the Rockets, but there was a three minute span midway through the period after they took a two to one lead in which Grace Ulrich made five tremendous saves. Face off one by Barbara. Lauren's gonna send it at the net. It's knocked away before it gets there. Almost redirected into the net by a Saint, but safely now out of the zone for the Saints. Barbara uses the body to shrug off a defender. Rockets chip it up and get it out of the zone. Saints now get on side. And that looks like Carter that's going to bring it in and try to turn the corner. She loses it behind the net. Conley tries to center it, but can't get it all the way through. Cookie's there. Isabella Cook. Isabel Cook. Is she Isabella or is she Isabel? She's Cookie. Brought in now by Jules. Jules centers for Shoshana. Wrist shot save. No rebound. Hand worker had the five hole all picked out. but couldn't cash the ticket. 27.9 seconds left in a brilliant second period for the Rockets. They lead 2-1, they'd love to be up 3-1. CeCe in the circle wins it to Hope. Hope back to Haley. Haley from the top of the circle through traffic, redirected and a right left pad save. Haley sends it low, 17 seconds. 
Hope gets pushed. She'll spin like in a phone booth. Hope in front, it's loose. She scores, Cece! Cecilia, you're breaking their hearts. You're shaking their confidence. Cece Nieves with the goal. And that makes it three to one Rockets with 9.9 .9 seconds left in the second period. The Simon and Garfunkel fans will get it. CC Nieves puts the biscuit in the basket. A big one for the Rockets right there. Well earned, playing perhaps one of their best periods of the season. This one brought in offside, no call. And that will expire the period. What a period by the Rockets. The scoreboard now shows 3-2, but we know that's not an actuality. So we don't have the benefit of seeing the shots, but I would say they are in favor of the Rockets. That, however, does not mean that Grace Ulrich has not been anything short of brilliant, because without her brilliant play in about a three minute span midway through this period the second period when the Rockets had taken a two to one lead Grace made about five brilliant saves four really in succession about 20 seconds apart shot rebound shot save and once again that sequence repeated shortly thereafter then about a couple of minutes after that they were able to get another high quality shot on Grace and she made a brilliant, brilliant save uh, with the glove on Kaylee Conley, the potent leading scorer for the Saints, who also is, I believe, leading her league in scoring, the brilliant number 71 in white. minutes on the clock. Rockets have built a three to one lead. They had the balance of possession in the first period, but they exited the first period with a one nothing deficit. Not only did they have the balance of possession in the second period, but they also put three pucks in the net. Perhaps the backbreaker being C.C. Nieves' goal with 9.9 .9 seconds left in the period. Riley Rose at center. Barbara on the left wing, Bella on the right. Bug on lefty, Haley on the right. Lift off in the third period from Sport Orama in Muncie, New York. Saints win the faceoff, but as they send it in, Haley is able to pick it up. And Haley's going to skate it right into the zone. Barbara will hold her point. Barbara's going to pinch it from the point, top of the slot, wrist shot, couldn't get it through traffic. Matone knocked that one down. She's been very good, number nine has for the Saints. Bug is going to swap that one away from McNulty. And it goes back in. Bug has it just below us, and they just ping pong it up and back. Saints wait for it to get on side. McNulty brings it in, but Pucci knocks it out. Bella barreling forward. That one comes through, Haley. She gets a miss on the puck, but is able to recover just enough to keep three away from his quality scoring chance. Hard shot from the left point. That was Matone, and it's kicked wide by Grace. Bug gets it, sends it around. Can't get it all the way through to Bella. Haley intercepts the centering attempt, and Haley's gonna skate it up. Haley's still going. She will try to dump it, but it stopped. Gets away with maybe a little stick interference right there. And it's battled for in neutral. Ice Hope hustling in. Oh, I thought she got in just in time, but Cece sent it in just a bit offside. So they'll face it off just outside the offensive zone. Cece at center, wins it toward Isabel Cook. Cook B23 up through neutral ice and into the offensive zone. She'll send one 
cross ice and into the near side corner where Hope will gather it. Hope gets through one, tries to get through another, regains, goes to Lauren at the point. Lauren sends it at the net. One save, rebounds there, and Hope puts it in! Hope Manichello puts the puck into the left side of the net. Off the rebound, and she makes it four to one. Rockets. You knew that it was just a matter of time for Hope. When she gets going, she's awful tough to stop. Riley loses a glove over the boards and fishes it back with the stick, so a light-hearted light moment over there. CC on the faceoff. Wins it to herself on the near side. Boards, Sydney over there as well. It's sent in no icing. Banked off the end boards, Elise will pick it up and try to send it for Cece, or at least get it out of the zone. She sends it down, no icing. I'm dubious as to why that was no icing. Maybe there was a Saint there. The Rockets will take it, and they'll be glad with their 4-1 lead. Loose in front, Elise was looking for that one. Sent through and out, but now in the defensive zone, Lauren will gather it and find Sydney. Sydney looking for a little room and she will try to push it forward towards Cece. Cece will pull it out of the dangerous area, look for a little open ice, and send it forward for Elise, who tips it to keep it on side, no icing. Loose puck there, Cece comes all the way back to get it. Cece turns, sends it opposite way in. Sydney's gonna be the one to try to pursue. Chipped up and out, Haley's gonna step in, see if she can get through some traffic over there. She can, Connolly gets in, Connolly has Jules, Connolly looking, going to the right side of the slot, can't do it. She didn't see Jules right there. Jules, a little headman pass, and Kirschenbaum would have been in alone. Sydney picks that one off, but can't hold possession. This one's sent down, and it is going to be an icing, except for the fact that that puck is going to die before it hits the end line. And Haley gets it and sends it around as the Rockets try to change at least one out there, and now a couple more. So Rose is now out there with Shoshana, and this one is going to be an icing, and the Rockets will have to re-gather themselves in their own zone with 13.26 left in the third period from Sportorama in Muncie, New York, where they have a 4-1 lead over the Ramapo Saints. Face off to Grace's right. And the Saints come marching back to their bench so they don't start with seven. Rose wins the face off to Haley's side. Haley's sending it up for Jules. Shashan is there, can't keep it in. Good play by Matone, gets to the low slot, bug whacks it out of danger. Let's see if it's going to go on net or be just wide. There is icing on the play and they'll do it all over again with 13-11 left in the third period and the Rockets trying to either hold on to or even build on a four to one lead. They spotted the Saints, the first goal of this game as Lauren falls down and she's gonna hear about that one. And I think that might be a YouTube short or a TikTok at some point for Lauren Fox. Still laughing over there. Rose wins another face off and she's been darn good on them. They try to keep it in, do the Saints just below us, and they can't. Jules Kirschenbaum, she's pursuing that one in the offensive zone. A whiff there, but eventually the Saints get it. Rockets clear the zone, and Lauren sends it in, but it's ping-pong back out. Isabel Cook will get it. Isabel Cook up the left boards. Isabel Cook trying to forward it into the zone. She does, and it's knocked out of the zone. Neutral zone ping-pong. Rose trying to swat that puck away. Goes to the Rockets bench over there and Isabel Cook picks that off and she's got a little room if she could steer past the defender. She gets by one. She's got Jules with her, has to dump it. She maybe could have left it for Jules, but Cookie decides to dump it in and say, Jules, you want it? You go chase it. Rose down there, she chases everything. Wrist shot through the top of the slot by Bella. 
Lauren pinches in but can't keep it in. Cookie back to pick it up and send it forward for Bella. Bella one on three has Barbara charging late but tried to get it at the net. Bella's gonna maybe recover this puck as well. One on three, leaves it for Barbara. Those two are gonna work the magic. Wrist shot goes toward the net. It looked like maybe it was more of an offering to the top of the crease. Riley for Haley. Riley spins back and lets Haley walk in. Wrist shot, there's a save, no rebound. Schweitzer with the cover. Good work there by Riley and Haley. I was uh, beneficial to watch practice on Thursday and noticed Riley Rose looked like she had a little extra legs and a little extra creativity on a lot of the drills. She stood out and got the fist pump. Face off, won by the Saints. They move it behind their own net, but Haley's gonna pick this off on the half boards with a little help from Barbara. Still battling for it over there and Barbara covers the point. Sent behind the end line, Riley's rushing to get there first. It comes to the middle of the slot. Bella backhand off a stick and saved by Schweitzer. No rebound. Eleven fifteen left. Third period from Sportorama. Four one Rockets. They've scored all four in a row. Three in the second and one here in the third. Sent in, and Conley is going to get this one. Kaylee Conley against Haley Connolly, and Haley is going to go for a hooking because Haley kept hooked Kaylee. So the Saints will have the power play right here, and they're trying to open the door to get back in it. Rockets will change, and they'll put four new out there. Cece and Hope up front. Isabel Cook and Lauren Fox on D. Kaylee Conley in the faceoff dot. Offensive zone draw to Grace Ulrich's left. Conley wins the faceoff. Skull has it at the point. Wrist shot through traffic. Grace saw the redirection and was able to get the left shoulder on it and leave no rebound. They'll do it all again. Conley wins the faceoff and tried to fire it at the net, but it goes just wide. Hope picks it up. Icing in effect in all situations, so Isabel Cook can't just turn and fire this one down without there being a faceoff right back in her own zone. She'll be content to just pirouette behind her own net and kill time. Skull gets it. Cece blocked it. If Cece could turn the corner, she might have a short-ended breakaway. Nieves threw three into the slot. Rister, glove save, rebound, covered up. CC Nieves on the penalty kill right there. She nearly put one in. Schweitzer with some brilliant saves has kept this one close even though she's been beaten. 10.22 left in the third period, 4-1 Rockets. They have 84 seconds to kill and they will start it out by winning the faceoff. Comes down low, Hope on the curl shot and it's another save by Schweitzer. Seven seconds or six seconds elapse there. 117 left to kill. The Rockets now with two big shots on the penalty kill. Cece wins it back to Isabel Cook, who tries to bang it down, but just didn't get good wood on it. And the Saints will come marching in. They'll get jumped out pretty quickly, though and have to retreat to their own end. Under a minute in the penalty kill, under 10 in the game. Rockets trying to put this one in hand. They should have gotten called for too many players on the ice, and they will, it looks like, yes. The near side referee did, and it was Keystone Cops a bit going on over there. That will be a face-off now, five on three for the Saints with 46 seconds to work on the two man advantage. Cece, who just had a one minute, 14 second penalty killing shift that included a breakaway, will serve the bench minor. Certainly looking as coach Bob, this may be assigned her, they are definitely going to look to break her out of the box and hit her with a home run pass should it come to that. 
That would mean that the Rockets have killed off a second penalty. Let's see what they do here. Five on three, the Saints with a golden opportunity to get back in this game. But Hope thwarts that immediately by winning the faceoff and moving the puck out of the zone herself. Saints will move it back in, five on three. Chipped forward and into the corner. Looking for somebody, the Rockets have three all down low along the line and Isabel Cook standing sentry in front of the net. Hope tries to get that one but can't keep it. Matone with the shot blocked away. Wrist shot goes just wide. Grace might have gotten a piece of it. Shot in front from the top of the crease. Can't get a good one on it. Loose in front, kicked away. One save, it goes through the crease and it doesn't go in. How did it not go in? Rockets clear the zone. And a perfect clear that allows for the change of all of two players. They've killed off the five on three. Now they have a five on four to take care of. Brianna Paulino through the neutral zone to the left circle. Sharp angle shot goes through the crease. Bella pinches in. Goes down for Brianna who tried to kick it toward the middle but nobody there. Comes out and Bella waits for Brianna to clear the zone before she sends it in. 123 now in the penalty kill which started out as a five on three. Bella will pick this one up. Wait, wait, send it out. Brianna's gonna try to get through this. Brianna, can she get to the group? Uh-oh. And we got, it's gonna get a little interesting here. It's like we're gonna get a lot of players coming up the stairs to where my perch is. So I'm gonna try to stay out of this way, hopefully, as these guys march in. Hopefully nobody whacks me with a door before this game expires. 7.54 left. In. Period three. 56 seconds left in the power play. Rockets holding a four to one lead. And me trying not to get hit with a door right behind me. Face off one into the Saints zone. Saints will move it out. Lauren over to Cookie. They'll try to send it in. Riley's over there. They'll ping pong it out. Sent up and now out by the Saints. Saints with 32 seconds left in the power play. Tackle there, a first down. Rockets trying to move the puck out of the zone now with 20 seconds to kill. That's going to kill a bunch of it, but not all of it as there's an icing. So 15 seconds more to kill for the Rockets. 7-12 left in the third period, they'll have a face-off in their own zone. Looks like the penalty actually has expired. So maybe the clock was a little bit wrong. Rockets have killed it off. Conley sends it at the net, can't get it through. Hope retreats to get it and bangs it up the near side, boards and out. Haley, who's had a good game, has 11. Been taking the ice that's given to her and taking a bunch of ice that wasn't given to her. Bug gets back. Bug breaks that one up. And there's going to be some kind of penalty here. I'm not sure what they're going to call on that. Interference looked like a straight up fight for the puck. But looks like Bug's going to go for interference. And the Saints are going to have another power play. With 6.37 left in the third period. Bug's like, what did I do? Puck was there. Somebody 
Bella will take the face off. She has Hope with her up, uh, Jules with her up front. Looks like Hope's maybe moved back to D to kill this one off. Sent at the net, rebound. Grace makes the save, another rebound. What a save by Grace, and another. And it's held in front by Hope for Grace to cover. Ulrich keeps it at 4-1. She had no business getting one that went to the opposite side of the crease, got the skate on it, and covered it. She's made a few of those today. This game easily could be 4-4. Bella picks off a pass. She'll march forward shorthanded with Jules. Bella over the left side line. Gets to the left circle. Tries to center it for Jules. They gave Jules a little space. Trying to center it again for Jules. Can't get it over there. Comes through the circle, and that is... Harrington can't get it in all that cleanly. Bella knocks it out. 118 on the power play for the Saints. They've had some golden opportunities here with two man and single man advantages. Matone, wide angle shot. Grace sees that and sticks it away. Hope playing defense on the penalty kill, chips it up. Bella chips it for Hope. Oh, just not strong enough. It's kept in, but Jules is gonna pick that one up. Jules forwards it to Hope. It goes in on side. Hope with a little collision there. And 50 seconds now to kill off. Bella retreats back. I think she lost sight of where the puck was for a moment, but was able to regain her bearings. Now she and Hope are back as Haley comes up. And Haley rushes through one. Haley gets in low. She had her feet, but a big right pad save. Connolly knocking on the door. Can she kick it in? She's been all over the ice in this game for the Rockets. Hope gets it back with 22 seconds left to kill off. The Rockets have been offensive in this kill at some points. Bella, wrist shot, hits Matone who knocks it down and leaves it for McCarthy who will skate it up. McCarthy through center. She'll gain the line. Dish it and there's a shot that Grace knocks away. Three seconds, two, one. Bug will jump out of the penalty box over the door where there's no glass. They're looking to hit Bella deep. Bella's there, can Cookie see her? Coach Bob is screaming for the long pass. Gets on side, wrist shot, glove down, like Francisco Lindor. Still no whistle, okay. Like Francisco Lindor on a lazy Thursday afternoon at City Field in uh, July. Four twenty left, third period. Four one Rockets. They keep getting closer. To putting this one in the win column. Another goal would just about, would all but do it. Elise collides in front, heading for the net. Rose goes to bug at the point. Back to Rose, who tries to fire it at the net. Rose wrist shot through traffic. One save, Shoshana there in the rebound. Tries to shovel it in front, can't get it there. Comes to the far side, boards, and the Saints will skate it up through all three zones, but Bug is going to stop that from happening. And let's see, Skull gets it, but Bug picks it off. Bug looks for Elise, doesn't wait for her to make a move, and just gets it out of there. That's what the Rockets will take at this point. Just keep clearing that puck out of the zone, and you'll be in good shape. Sent through neutral, neutral ice. Lauren to Cookie. Cookie backhands up, and it slips under a stick, and Elise is going to get it and bang it down. Sent cross slot and cross ice at the point. Shoshana keeps it in. Rose in there to get involved. She's spun down. She stays down for a moment. The puck is under there. Rose, a real, real, real tough kid, having trouble getting up there. And hopefully she's okay. See if she can get up. She's trying to get up on her own as Coach Bob heads out there, skating off a little gingerly as 55 Rose Fender. A tough player with the, as we said before, determination of a tiger. She skates with alacrity and she's been quite good, especially on faceoffs. She's one of the lesser experienced players on the Rockets. Rockets win the face-off, now three minutes left. 
in the third period. Rockets trying to seal the deal here. Saints trying to pull off the miracle comeback, but they've had a lot of opportunities with plenty of penalties against the Rockets here in the last few minutes, but the Saints unable to crack Grace Ulrich. CeCe's gonna get through into the slot, go low for Hope, spins in the phone booth, backhand, one save by Schweitzer, she leaves it behind the end line. Hope's still battling for it with CeCe. Sydney's out there with them. Lauren and Haley at the points. Sid still battling for it. Gets there long enough for CeCe to get it in front for Hope, sent just wide. Hope gets tripped up in front. Oh boy, another penalty. They just don't want this one to end today, do they? Clock's still running. Clock's still running. It shouldn't be a running clock. They finally whistle it down. Well, they, stay, they whistled it down, but they tick off a few extra seconds on the clock. This is, again, not the NHL, so we're not worried about what the clock operator is doing so much for a few seconds here and there. There's a trip and call, and it's going to be number three, McCarthy, taking the penalty. Not a bad penalty when you consider that she tripped somebody who was going to have a scoring chance right in front of her own net. They're waiting for the penalty to be put up on the board. There might be some people who are desperate to get out of here, but none of those players are wearing uniforms and pads right now. They want to play every minute right to the end. CC off the faceoff, fires one somehow. Through a lot of traffic, Sydney was blitzing the net there as well. It would be nice to see Sparks get one. She's worked hard and shown an awful lot of improvement. I've had the pleasure of watching her improve greatly. Haley through the slot, wrist shot kicked away. Redirected in front by Hope, trying to get on the rebound, still loose, covered by Schweitzer before Hope could put it in. 138 left in the power play, 151 in the game. Rockets will change all five, so it'll be Riley. It'll be Riley with Bella taking the face off. And Elise on the right wing. They win it to Elise. Elise sends it to Cookie between the points, wrist shot. Hits one of the Saints players. Skull comes up to the point. Bug keeps it in. Riley in front with the one-timer. She was robbed. Riley centers it for Elise, looking to get her on the score sheet. Goes to the point. Bug, 90 seconds left. Bug sends it low for Riley. It doesn't get through. Needed to get through one more player. Skull skates it out. She's got a bunch to beat. And she gets it into the offensive zone, shorthanded. Bug breaks it up. Elise is going to pick that up and just send it out of the zone with her team on the power play. But she forces the Saints to go back and regroup shorthanded. Elise trying to pick that one off. Riley almost picked that one off. Riley now retreats back. There's a loose puck below us. And it comes through neutral ice. Sent in. Rockets now with 57 seconds left in the game. Most of that on the power play. Cookie behind her own net. Content for the moment to kill it off and create a lane to get the puck moving. And she sends it a little too hard up the boards and that is going to be an icing. Not what the Rockets would have drawn up probably. Rockets lose the faceoff. Schroeder sends it to the net. Grace stopped it with the glove, but didn't realize that there was the back of the glove, not the front. Then she covers it. 35.4. Shoshana wins that faceoff, but the Saints steal it shorthanded. Now we're 30 seconds away, 17 of them on the power play. And Bug's going to try to skate this one up and out. Banks it for Sydney. Sydney is able to get it out because it skips over Schroeder's stick. Jules and Sydney there get it into the offensive zone. 15 seconds left. This group 
definitely would look to get on the scoreboard. Those would be celebratory goals. It's probably not going to happen. Wrist shot knocked away by Grace. Goes around three, two, one. They say for Cookie to eat it, and the Rockets will eat up every bit of a 4-1 victory as they celebrate at sport o -Rama. Rockets win it 4-1. Don't have the benefit of the shots for you as you get to see the Selly over there. Teams line up at center ice. They will be glad to do this one. Final from sport o -Rama. Rockets 4, Ramapo Saints 1. If you'd like to catch all the Rockets action, please hit the subscribe button here on my YouTube channel. And once you've done that, hit the alerts button. And every time we go live like this, or we upload content like the post-game interview with Coach Jeremy earlier for the 19U, and to follow the post-game interview with Coach Paul for this game as well, hit that alerts button. From Sportorama in Muncie, New York, this is Joe Rizzo. Thanks for watching New Jersey Rockets Girls Hockey.